Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show where I talk about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Fear the Walking Dead. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. First and foremost, we're picking up with Morgan and Grace. Obviously, they've been trying to take care of Mo, but they're on the ends of not being able to, uh, they don't have enough food for themselves or for, um, Bo, so it is a, situ a situation of like, all right, we got to go out there and find something. It seems like Grace and Morgan have been out subsequently since every well since the bombs went down, but they probably they haven't really went far far out because they're just staying close enough to get some food as they stay in the sub because it's a safe area. But the episode's titled Six Hours because that's as long as they can be out there with the radiation without it starting to affect them after that point. So like six hours, kind of the bare minimum. So. Grace goes out there to find some baby formula, not the easiest thing considering everything the way it is. But uh, at first I was wondering whether, like, because we got introduced to, like, Fred and B early in the episode. But I thought that was just going to be like, oh, because the fact is they didn't show them either. I was like, I was like, nah, they gave them very specific, like, names and stuff. Like, it could just be like, oh, they're one-offs and just we'll never see them again. It could just be in the scene. But I'm like, maybe they'll they'll pop up again. But they're looking for baby form, which I thought, oh, that's interesting. Just happens to be two people here looking for food for a baby. But, you know, Fred ended up shooting at a rat and ended up, like, busting, I guess, hit chipping at least, hitting the can. So, uh, ended up getting radiated. So, can't use that. And obviously, we get Grace's real feelings. Like, she's even like, come back. You can steal from me. Just take everything from me. I don't care. Because she's not supposed to be here. Her and Morgan had assigned themselves to be like, oh, to death. And you could tell even at the end of the season six finale, like, Grace wasn't too keen about keep going. She wanted to die. Like, especially, like, this is in the aftermath of losing Athena. The fact that she knew it would be hard going on without her. Plus, the state the world is in right now, it's just like, she didn't want to keep going. But Morgan's the one that kind of convinced her and kind of forced her in this in a right, like, she's only keeping going because Morgan wants her to. But like, the fact is, I was wondering whether or not, like, she was saying all that. She was just kind of like, I'm not supposed to be here. I don't want to be here. I was like, is Morgan going to hear her saying that? But Morgan even later on admits, like, oh, he knows how she's feeling. Like, yeah, he's like, you didn't ask for this. You didn't want to be here. But it's like, I, he didn't know how bad it was. He thought more specifically, like, oh, you didn't want to be here, like, the sub and stuff like that. So let's find somewhere else. So he left for about six hours because it's like, right, you already have been exposed once to the radiation and stuff like that previously before all of this. So he doesn't want her, like, doubling up anymore. Like, so it's like, right, give yourself a break. I haven't been out, so I haven't been out yet, so I, I, you don't need to be making double trips. So I'm going to go out there and go look for some food. And he has Grace stay with Mo. And obviously it's like, right, taking care of a baby under these circumstances, which obviously it's like, you know, I'm sure Morgan never thought he'd actually... Well, he probably did. He prepared himself to potentially be down this route again after losing Dwayne, but he hasn't been, hasn't taken care of a baby since then. So, you know, obviously that next baby was going to be Athena. Obviously, they didn't see the circumstances playing out the way they did with Mo coming into their life, but, uh, which I think it's funny, the baby naming, being named Mo, and, you know, Mo Collins being on the show. So it's just, I don't know, it's just one of those things that just, I, I'm thinking too much about it. It's not that crazy, but it's just, it's just one of those funny things I think about. Regardless. So Morgan goes out and Grace is the one kind of stuck. And obviously it's like, that's that complicated thing of like, you're leaving her with the baby, which is a constant reminder of what she lost because Mo is an Athena. It's like, and I think there, and the conversation comes up later on. It's like, just because you're around Mo doesn't mean you're trying to replace Athena. Like nothing can replace what we lost because for Morgan, it's like, I'm, I'm not trying to replace Dwayne. Like I have to live with like the pain of what I've lost. We can't change what we've lost. All we can do is try to find some means, some way forward. So, but, like, for her, sh she's struggling, and it's like, Morgan's like, oh, sing to her. She probably likes music, but it's like, she doesn't want to sing. It's like, that was what, that was something, like, it's just a reminder of Athena, and it's like, right, that was supposed to be something for my baby, and I, I don't want to do that. So, she plays the music on a cassette, and it does work, but Morgan wasn't out getting food, but he does come back in time and be like, yeah. I actually got this prepared, made a little hazmat suit for Mo, which is kind of adorable. Uh, but also, like, decked out the car. Like, we can go, we can leave. Like, because of the tra trajectory of the bombs and stuff like that. It's like, the radius is most likely this. So we can get to the other side of it. We can find someplace safe. But obviously, you have... 
you have Grace being pessimistic, but also trying to be realistic about it, of like what Morgan wants. It's like, you know, like if we're trying to get to where we're going to get, like what are we going to do? And for Morgan, it's about building up kind of what they had before, kind of trying to build something, try to build like a place for not just them, but for other people as well. But it's just like trying to build back a little bit of what they lost. Um, but obviously when the cassette got to the point where Grace was like recording stuff specifically for Athena, she's like, turn it off, turn it off. It's just like, it, it just, it was just cost, like she's constantly being reminded of what she lost. And that was just driving it home even more. Um, they kind of spun out and the tire needed to be replaced, but they run into Fred and B again and they're covering themselves up, which immediately Grace is like, if they're covering themselves up, like, cause they're like, this isn't your baby. This isn't your baby. This is our baby, Emma. And you're like, what? It's like, we know exactly whose baby that is. So what are you, at first I was like, did that mom take someone else? I was like, no, I, I wouldn't, she would, definitely wouldn't do that. But it's like, yeah, they're like a little crazy. They lost their own daughter. So they're trying to fill that void a little bit in their own right. So but uh, Grace is like Fred and B are like radioactive because it's like, yeah, like those beta burns that they have, it's like it's pretty bad. Turns out they weren't near the epicenter. Um, they were actually protected. They were like down below in like a basement or something when the bombs went off. But the reason why they had those burns is because they had the same idea Morgan did, that they were trying to like get get away from everything, go in the outskirts. But I guess like um, – because – even Grace admitted, like, things are way worse than she thought because that means, like, with some of this stuff being the way it is, it's like, some of those, at least, like, that uh, warhead, like, it landed. It didn't just, like, break apart in the atmosphere and explode. Like, no, like, piece of it landed on the ground. And so that probably, like, makes the situation much, much worse. Even saying, like, they, it's probably going to be almost like a what uh, the 100 type of situation of, hey, man, the... There's so much nuclear fallout that this land probably won't be, like, sustainable for life for the next hundred years, maybe, type of thing. Like, nothing can live here, nothing will grow here type of thing, so. And you kind of, at first, you're kind of like, Fred and B aren't too bad. Like, they are just, like, kind of deranged people, but, like, they're trying to help Mo. They want to get Mo out of town. They apparently know about Padre, so it seems like whatever that is, now, whether that's something... This, that the cult is aware of, and that's why Alicia knows about it, because there, there's something there. Like, we got introduced to Padre last episode. Still, we never got a conclusive answer on what it is. Like, is it a person? Is it a thing? Like, I mean, we've seen in The Walking Dead what happens when you go to a place like, oh, what was it, Terminus? Yeah. Let's, yeah, it's like, oh, this is supposed to be a safe haven. That turned into a whole uh, freaking cannibal situation. But then you also have, like, uh, the Commonwealth, where... Uh, Eugene, Ezekiel, Princess, and uh, Kimiko, uh, not Kimiko, Yumiko are, so, there's complicated, so, can't 100% trust any where you're necessarily going, you never know what could be waiting for you there, so I'm like, this Padre, like, once again, Padre situation could just definitely be, um, I don't think it's going to be a Terminus thing, but it, it probably isn't going to be what they kind of expected to be, or maybe it actually is, I don't know. Um, but I'm cute because Be, uh, Be, uh, B and, uh, I was about to say Bay, B and Fred know about it. And I was like, are they connected to the cult? But I feel like they did. They would probably have beef with Morgan considering everything, but it's like, no, they don't. So I guess they just heard word about it. So like I said, I, I guess it's not like a cult specific. It's not, um, cause I'm curious, like how Alicia found out about it then if that's, if that's the case, but regardless, Speaking of Fred and B, we do see like what they look like, especially B without the bandages on. That's rough, dude. And for once again, for her to not even been like near the epicenter of the explosion, like this is them trying to get out of town because apparently like the wind, there was a storm that carried that radiation like closer to like Louisiana and stuff. So it's like, she's like. So it's a lot worse. So it's like you can try and get out to the outskirts of it like you want to believe you can, but you won't be able to. You definitely don't have enough time and fuel, especially with what, you know, because it's because initially it's like, right, we could go at least back to the sub because it, like Fred and uh, B don't have a lot of time. Like their, their time is running out. They like Morgan, like just want to make sure that the baby's OK. Like in their mind, they think it's Emma, but it's like they just want to make sure Emma's OK. And want to like, so they're trying to like, that's why they were trying to hit the Padre. But they're like, yeah, don't not going the route Morgan's going, because if he goes where he's going, they're as good as dead, which you have Grace like walking around without her helmet on because like, oh, I've already been exposed. 
and it's still within that six hour window, but also it's just like, she's given up. She's like, this isn't where she wanted to be. Like, you're the one to put down the gun. You're the one that, but it's like, for her, she kind of felt like Morgan at the end of the day was still trying to like make up for what they've lost. Like she kind of felt, and understandably so, like he was trying to fill that void a little bit. You know, because neither one of them ever thought they'd probably have an opportunity to get back a little of what they lost, but it doesn't make it up for it. It doesn't replace what they lost. And, you know, she's just like, she's not meant to be here. She doesn't want to be here. She just wants to make sure that Morgan and Mo are okay. It's like, make sure I give you enough time so that you can get away. But there's walkers nearby, which they've got skin falling off them. It's like, yeah, don't get near them. Because obviously it's like, yeah, they're like super slimy. Even to the point later on when Morgan rushes one, a whole bunch of them with the car. They're like, it's a lot more viscera than you expect. But it's like, yeah, they are kind of like very gooey because of all this radiation. So like when he runs into the car, it's just like exploding him viscera and blood. Because I feel like even more so than usual, just because the dead usually are decaying and stuff like that, which it can be pretty gnarly, but I felt like it was more gnarly because of the radiation and everything. So... I mean, Fred and B were initially going to leave them behind, and it's like, right, we won't forget what you did for our family, and we're going to leave with Mo. but Morgan couldn't let them do that. It's like, despite, because Grace is like, no, let them do this, at least, you know, they can at least take uh, Mo somewhere safe, but he's like, just because you're giving up, I know you're scared, but even she brings it up, and Morgan's like, yes, I might be scared, but so are you, and he's like, yeah, it's just like, he's like, we're not, I'm not asking for a lot, I just want to get back at least a little bit of what we had, you know, and maybe, he, you know, he was scared of that, and so he just, he went, he was just trying to do his best, like always, you know, like, he obviously wasn't trying to force Grace into the situation of, like, her feeling like, yeah, this isn't where I want to be, like, she's a little suicidal, but it's like, it's also because he like he loves her and he wants it's like he wants to you know have, be at the dinner table with Grace and it's like yeah we can yell at our child for being so focused on um, uh, comics rather than doing what she was supposed to do like he wants that you know and it's like even if it's not a lot of what they had before even if it's just that little bit they at least do that after everything that's happened every day after everything they've been through after everything they've lost they're dude at least some some alleviation from all of this, you know, some, some time to catch their breath because it's just one thing after another, after another, after another, it's just things don't stop happening in this world. I mean, that's life in general, but, uh, life doesn't slow down even, even in death in the, you know, in the, you know, the, the apocalypse and everything, you know, so it's even sadder finding out about the actual Emma thing. It's like, they weren't completely out of their, well, they were, but it's because, they were in shock because they were carrying Emma around with them. Uh, she had, uh, she was sick and died, and now she was, she turned. It's not, it, it happens in this world, you, we just don't focus on it too much, because I think, I think they, I mean, maybe, I don't know if they've ever delved into that too deeply in the comics, but it's like, I'm sure, like, in this, it happens, it's happened in this world, and continues to happen, it's just like, doesn't get focused on too much, because it's a depressing thing, because Morgan had to put Emma down, because it's like, right, your daughter was gone, but it's like, yeah, she was sick, and Fred ended up killing her, because he was trying to alleviate, because she was in so much pain, and so... Uh, Grace ends up having to kill um, Fred just to stop him from hurting Mo. But like I said, it was just it, from his perspective, it's like you know he had to do the same thing for his child, so he was trying to do the same thing. You know, they were. It's interesting because it's almost a little flipped of like Grace and Morgan's situation, like about to kill themselves, considering everything that was going to be the literal fallout. But um, yeah, like Fred and B, uh, B were like on the other side where they had to kind of do that to their child. Um, also, they got an unexpected visitor, which at first I was like, is that person connected to, uh, Victor? They were like, kept walking forward, it's like, stop or I'll shoot, and they got taken down, I'm like, huh, that, I wasn't expecting that, but then they immediately later on, because at first you see the person get up and like, well, they you see their car driving away, I thought like, oh, did B get inside and drive away? It's like, no, like, whoever it was was still alive and drove away. B ended up staying behind, though. Um, just wanted to make sure that they were okay. Um, obviously, it's like she wanted to stay with her her husband and child with whatever like time she had left. It's like there was no saving her at this point in time. It's just like you know, it was going to cost her her life at the end of the day. Like 
Shoney had some time off. It's just, it's sad that things kind of played out like that. Like, that, yeah, you can't just have some, like, happy endings in certain regards. I think you almost make a parallel to, like, Morgan at the, Morgan at the beginning of Six, like, most parents. It's like, it's a little bit on that same vein. It's like, yeah, like, things didn't have a happy ending there beginning to end of the, to the beginning of the season or the end of the season it didn't have a happy ending with that family you know and mo it, it's just it's sad that things played out that way you know and it's, it, you just it's just kind of like oh you just like they 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 were in a situation where they were going to die anyway but it's still just kind of i don't know it's just that's also the thing of like kind of want to get the show out of the way because it's like the walking dead can be depressing i don't know why but it feels like fear the walking dead is even more depressing I don't know why. I mean, maybe that's just me, but do do let me know in the comments down below if you feel that way. Like, I feel like fear is way more depressing than even the, like, OG show. And World Beyond isn't as depressing. It's a little, it feels a little more uplifting and hopeful. While depressing in its own right, it just, it doesn't, like, this show just seems like the most depressing. But maybe that's just because it just, blow, I don't know. It's just, I feel like The Walking Dead, it's just kind of in its... It hasn't been as depressing. I mean, there's been sad moments recently, but I just feel like it's not as much of a downer as Furious. But you know, once again, maybe that's maybe that's just my bias because I like, I haven't binged The Walking Dead like I have. Like I I binged a lot of Fear back to back, so a lot of that is hitting me all at once. Whereas at least with and you know, and then like the second half of season six, I was watching week to week, so maybe that hit me a little differently than like you know. The, it had been a while at that time since I'd seen, like, The Walking Dead. Like, and at that point, it was just a bonus episode. So may, maybe that's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I don't know. But before they did head back, uh, after she saved Mo from uh, Fred, Grace did get Mo and start singing to her. So, and in that moment, she was thinking about Athena. And I just, it just, I, you know, she had, a, I think she was kind of pushing past it and just thinking about it. And I, like, like I said, Morgan tells her like you're not replacing Athena by helping out with Mo but it's just it's understandable why she'd feel the way she does and it's just I don't know it seems like I think she's in a better place now uh, you know um he's because even Morgan realizes like right it was kind of wrong of me to like kind of push a lot of this on you because like from Grace's perspective it's like you've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting I've kind of avoided as much because she didn't want to get too close to Mo because it just felt wrong and once again constant reminder of what she lost and so i think morgan kind of felt like he kind of pushed a lot on her really not really realizing how she felt how much this was kind of affecting her but um they make their way back to the sub and lo and behold victor's boys are waiting for him it's like yeah they figured they'd come back here i guess they weren't expecting to run into more it's like wait morgan morgan jones how do you know they uh, Victor, wait, Victor's alive? It's like, yeah, and he's building something great, everything that you couldn't, to the point, like, you know, it's like, hey, Grace, you could come with us, like, we got this, we got that, and, you know, Morgan's actually she's like, no, 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 go, go ahead, you and the baby, like, this could be a start for you, I won't be welcome, but as long as you guys are okay, which Grace was like, no, she's not leaving Morgan, she's staying right here, because, like, whatever Victor's building isn't going to be like what we are trying to build, and the guy's like, yeah, of course it's not, it's going to be better. But then Morgan's even like, right, take the baby at least. You know, it's like, oh, you'd give her up? It's like, yes, if it meant giving her a better shot at everything. But Grace is like, no, like, because I guess it's more so than anything. It's like, right, we're in this together. We'll find a way forward, uh, no matter how tough it is. Because also, doesn't trust Victor. She's like, I know what Victor tried to do to Morgan. Like, no, I never go anywhere. And like, even if he he wants me, he's like, oh, he knows him. It's like, no. Like, does Victor, like, does Victor actually think, go, because there's always going to be the thing of, how do I know I'll have your allegiances? Because he knows Grace is always going to be allegiant to, like, Morgan. Like, you know, that's always the thing. Like, is she going to, oh, you think she's going to be, like, super copacetic about the fact that you try to kill Morgan? You know? So I don't know why, like, inviting her would actually work, you know? Granted, this wasn't Victor's plan, but, you know, I guess he figured Morgan would and Grace would be out there. So, like, he was probably like, well, at the very least, if you find Grace, like, bring her back. You know, at the very least, the bare minimum, so... But that's why I'm like, not really smart on your play, because you know, but I guess it's like, he figures, like, Grace would uh, smarten up and do what he's doing and just kind of look out for numero uno, even though he's, like, claiming he's doing this for other people. It's, it's doing it for himself, but, you know, which is, which is something we'll dive deeper into as the season progresses, like, based on stuff we've heard and seen in the trailer. But, uh, luckily, uh, Mo starts crawling, 
uh, as the others leave, and it turns out, hey, there's actually stashes of food there, enough that at least it lasts them a couple months, so... There's that at the bare minimum, so... There was a silver lining, just as like, oh, it feels like they're at about to hit, they've kind of been at rock bottom, continue being at rock bottom, but it's like, no, things are looking, like I brought, I was talking about it before, just like how depressing it is, and now it's like, oh, there's a little hope, granted we get our stinger at the end, where it turns out, what was his name, it's, it, was it Elijah? I don't remember, home dude that Virginia sit after um, Morgan at the beginning of season six, uh, that dude. It seems like his twin brother. Because I, I, I forgot the dog ran off. I was like, oh, no! Uh, very similar to current circumstances, too, with, like, um, Daryl and um, Leah with the whole, like, dog situation, you know? So, very interesting thing, but it's like, oh, like, Morgan Jones got the best of me, but there's always tomorrow. It's like, well, to be fair, your brother was hunting him down. It's like, I guess it's like, you should have let my brother kill you. And it's like, no, it was self-preservation. I mean, Morgan in the past would have just let him go, but this was a new Morgan, so he just chopped his head off, so. So, Morgan's got to worry about that, you know, that's coming after him and Grace and um, Mo. So, that's one thing he has to worry about, granted... There's Victor, but Victor's not going to bother him as long as he doesn't bother Victor. So it's like, stay out of each other's way, we're all good, you know? So, but now they're aware of each other, you know, it's like, oh, you're out there. It's like, oh, like, I found Morgan, and now Morgan knows Victor's alive. It's so interesting, too, because you would have expected, if anything, they would have started with the whole, you would have thought you would have started with maybe Morgan and Grace in the first episode. But for them to be the second episode, that Victor be the first episode, I think, speaks volumes. Um, I mean... With the light, with the sake of the story, like they could have written it in a way where it's like you didn't need like the introduction to the tower and Victor to like play this out. They could have like they could have. I don't. I guess. I guess with the way they wanted to tell the story, they needed you to know. Because I guess I. Because I can't remember if Victor's the last person you see, or was it Morgan and Grace that were the last scene of. Um, the season six finale, I don't remember. I guess it's like right, like where he was. It's like you gotta gotta start off with our potential villain, our potential Negan in this situation, um, the man who always finds a way to come back on top. So I guess like that was. It, 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 I think it's probably going to come back full circle in many different regards. The fact is, you start there. Um, in some regards, and how they're going to end up, I'm sure there's going to be some like through line parallels they're going to set up there. But um, I'm definitely interested to see where the next episode ends up taking us going forward with all of this. Uh, but really, that's all I want to talk about. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, little light to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.